immense pleasure in welcoming our honorable guests, honorable directors, respected principal, deans, heads of various departments, PG coordinators, associate deans, teaching and technical staff, press and media, parents and all our beloved graduates for the graduation ceremony. This is the day of great significance and celebration as we gather here to mark the zenith of academic journey. The graduation day is a momentous occasion that symbolizes the culmination of years of hard work, dedication and perseverance. It is a day where you can relish on your accomplishments, express gratitude for the support received and embrace the future that lies ahead. As the graduates stand here on the brink of the new chapter in their lives, they reflect upon the transformative power of education. They carry with them the lessons learned, the friendships made and the dreams kindled. They are armed with the tools to navigate the complexities of the world and to shape their own destinies. Bangalore Institute of Technology has witnessed the graduation of thousands of students in the span of 40 years since its inception in 1979. Graduation day at Bangalore Institute of Technology is a day full of joy, day about pride and accomplishment, a day of celebration. Let us today celebrate the accomplishments and the academic achievement of all our beloved students. Let us embrace this pinnacle of excellence, this moment of triumph with great pride. As the mark of our tradition, let us invoke the blessings of God at this auspicious day. I would invite Ms. Shri Devi, graduating student of Department of Computer Science and Engineering, to grace us with the melodious rendition. Forever Nada Gita.
sincere request our respected principal dr ashwath mu for the welcome speech ಪರಮ ಪೂಜ್ಯ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ಶ್ರೀ 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 ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ನಂಜಾವಧೂತ ಮಹಾಸ್ವಾಮೀಜಿಗಳ ಪಾದಾರವಿಂದಕ್ಕೆ ನಮಸ್ಕರಿಸುತ್ತಾ ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಕ್ಕೆ ತಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಹೃತ್ಪೂರ್ವಕವಾದ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಬಯಸ್ತೇನೆ ದಿ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಇಯರ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದೆನ್ ಆನ್ ಅವರ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಗ್ರಾಜ್ಯುಯೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇ ಹವ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಇನ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಸೊಸೈಟಿ not only in india but outside uh, the country the foundation stone of uh, bit as all of you know is laid by rashtra kavi kuvempu namma entrance al band takshana nevu nodidre avardondu foundation stone ide alli avaru helidru namge konanna chetana aguni aniketana so age avaru aashayadante ಈ ಕ್ಯಾಂಪಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾರ್ಯಾರು ಗ್ರಾಜ್ಯುಯೇಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಹೋಗ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೋ ಅವರು ಸುದೃಢವಾದ ಒಂದು ಕರಿಯರ್ ನ ಡೆವಲಪ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಸೊಸೈಟಿಲಿ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಹೆಸರು ಬಾಸಿ ಬಂದಿದೆ ಸೊಸೈಟಿಗೆ ಸ್ಪಂದಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಈ ಕಾಲೇಜಿನ ಪರವಾಗಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ರಾಜ್ಯ ಒಕ್ಕಲಿಗರ ಸಂಘ ಸಂಘದ ಪರವಾಗಿ ತಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ವಂದಿಸುತ್ತಾ ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಕ್ಕೆ ನಮ್ಮನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ವಿ ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ಫಾರ್ಚುನೇಟ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡೇ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ of uh, swami ji he is going to bless and address all of you and uh, swami ji thank you very much and welcome to bit uh, bangalore institute of technology in the earlier days of the institution Uh, we are uh, very proud that our uh, founder principal dr s ramegoda laid the foundation for this institute
Whereas uh, uh, they've uh, conveyed their uh, blessings to all of you. I, in their absence, I welcome all of them also for this program. And uh, we have uh, uh, some directors. We have uh, Dr. Ramesh. Uh, he is also the chairman of Kim's College. Very happy to have him today. And I welcome on behalf of all of you uh, for this program. We have uh, Lokesh uh, Nagarajaya, director and also uh, press chairman of uh, uh, Kim's, vice chairman of Kim's and also law college. Uh, welcome uh, uh, Sri Lokesh Nagarajaya for this uh, program. We have uh, M.B. Manje Gowda, uh, chairman of uh, nursing college uh, for RBS and uh, we welcome uh, uh, M.B. Manje Gowda sir for this uh, program. We are very happy to have. And as all of you know, any academic institution, for the success of the academic institution, all the departments, the academic council, what we call the heads of the departments, uh, deans of various uh, uh, sections are very, very important. Uh, we have uh, all the heads of the departments. I will not take their names individually. I welcome all of them uh, for this program. Their blessings will always be there with you uh, for in the, uh, your near future. And I used to uh, uh, talk to the final year graduates, in fact, in the last 15 days. Can I have silence, please? Discipline is another very, very important thing that uh, you have to learn to become successful in your career. So you should know what is the occasion, where you are there, or in what uh, uh, platform you are there, and understand the uh, nuances of that and we have to behave, then only you will be recognized in the society. Otherwise, it will become a crowd. Nobody bothers about your presence. So you should make that your presence should be felt in any platform that you are there. And uh, I was mentioning the, in the last uh, few uh, days, in the uh, one month, I have uh, personally met all the graduating batch uh, students and I have explained them uh, what they are supposed to do when, we, when they go out of these portals of Bangalore Institute of Technology. And uh, the purpose of all the accreditations like NBA and NAC is that uh, we have to see and mentor you after graduating also from this institution. For the next few years, you have to mentor. Mentored. And we will support all the uh, support required for all of you uh, to making your career a strong one. So in that direction, all our uh, faculty members and the heads of the departments will be in touch with you and they will guide you through the process in the next few years. In many uh, platforms, experts say uh, that the first few years where you spend, in which organization you spend, with whom you work, who is your boss, that will determine your complete career. So choose your career immediately uh, in the next uh, few years and the uh, organization and the boss you, want, you would like to work under and that will make you a complete personality. And uh, at the end, I would also uh, thank all the participants and uh, uh, the parents who have come here and uh, I welcome all of you for this graduation program and uh, we will take care of your awards in the another next five years. We will not just uh, sending them off sending them off today and uh, you can be rest assured that we will see that their careers will be molded properly once they get into the industry and uh, I'm sure Sundar will also talk to you and give you some inputs what the industry is today and uh, how uh, you need to nurture your uh, career in the initial days and uh, uh, on behalf of uh, Rajo Sangha and BIT and all the staff of uh, uh, Bangalore Institute of Technology. I welcome all of you once again, ladies and gentlemen. And we have uh, a few special guests uh, today. Uh, recently, uh, in the uh, UPAC, uh, some of our students have excelled well in the IAS uh, category. We have uh, Damini and their parents here. And uh, Vikram Joshi, I don't know whether he will join. Maybe uh, he is also uh, uh, will be there. Uh, or maybe uh, in, uh, today or in the next event. So two of them have achieved uh, uh, their success in the uh, services. Every year uh, we have been getting uh, good recognitions in UPSC services and also uh, getting good ranks in the university. And this time all of you uh, uh, know that we have uh, uh, pride that uh, 18 gold medals for a single student in the history of VTU is the first time and 25 ranks for BIT is another uh, great mile world. So I am very happy 
all of you have uh, studied in this uh, great institution i am sure you will going to make a good mark and uh, like your seniors and we are going to mentor you and uh, lastly uh, 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 sometime back uh, we had a open house with subrata bakshi uh, the found, founder of uh, mindtree in our campus and uh, uh, he was talking and interacting with the students and he said uh, uh, he has also written a book uh, go uh, kiss the world so nothing better uh, than the, those words and the uh, opportunities are enormous and uh, you can go and kiss the world and make your career a grand success thank you very much thank you sir for your earnest welcome speech with the unwavering commitment to education dr ashwath mu has been the driving force behind our institution's success and has played a pivotal role in creating a supportive learning environment i extend my warm welcome to our respected principal to the graduation ceremony i respectfully welcome our respected vice principal dr prakash to the graduation ceremony welcome you sir light is the beacon of hope and inspiration radiating its warm glow across dispelling darkness and instilling positivity the lighting of the lamp marks the beginning of our event and symbolizes the illumination of our minds and pursuit of knowledge now we shall have the auspicious lamp lighting ceremony as the tribute to mother saraswati i request the dignitaries on the dais to light the lamp and symbolically inaugurate this program Education is the most powerful weapon which can be used to change the world. As future engineers, your achievements are measured by the positive impact you have on the life of others. A graduation pledge is a commitment that will remind you to take pride in your work and do what's best for the world. I invite Dr. Ravindra P M, Professor and PG Coordinator, Department of Civil Engineering, to lead the graduates. in reciting the graduation pledge i request all the graduates to please rise and take the pledge hello good morning to all my congratulations to my dear graduating students i request you all the graduating students to stand up for taking the oath and keep your right hand forward like this to take the oath i am going to read the oath which you need to repeat as it is except wherever i tell name you need to tell your name i 
name your name a student of bangalore institute of technology and graduate of vishveshwaraya technological university take this oath i solemnly pledge myself to dedicate my life to the service of humanity i will be loyal to the profession of engineering and management and generous to its members i will keep away from corruption and from tempting others to vicious practices i will not use my professional knowledge contrary to the laws of humanity i endeavor to avoid waste and the consumption of non renewable sources i will give my teacher institute and university the respect and gratitude for all the efforts bestowed on us i take this pledge freely and upon my honor thank you thank you very much sir i once again request the students to please maintain the decorum of the ceremony now it is the time to release the britannica annual magazine britannica college magazine has been pivotal in nurturing creativity fostering intellectual growth and capturing the essence of college life it arcades the academic achievements of the faculty members and the students information on various technical and cultural events conducted at bit during the academic year i respectfully request our honorable guest to release the britannica 2023 i kindly request all the dignitaries to please join i request dr ms bargavi chief editor of britannica to join the release thank you with the remembrance and blessings of parama pooja jagat guru shri 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 bala gangadhar nath swami ji today the ceremony is graced with the divine presence of shri 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 dr nanjava duta maha swami ji chief pontiff shri spatikapuri maha samsthana shri kshetra patnaikana halli 
with the utmost reverence and honor i humbly request maha swami ji to enlighten us with his profound words of wisdom ಅತ್ಯಂತ ಅರ್ಥಪೂರ್ಣ ಸಮಾರಂಭದ ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷತೆಯನ್ನ ವಹಿಸಿರುವಂತ ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷರು ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ತಾಂತ್ರಿಕ ಮಹಾವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯದ ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷರಾಗಿರುವಂತ ಬಹುಶಃ ಅವರ ಕಾಲದಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ಮುಖ್ಯಸ್ಥರು ಪ್ರಾಧ್ಯಾಪಕರ ಸಹಕಾರದೊಂದಿಗೆ ಬಹಳಷ್ಟು ಸಾಧನೆಯನ್ನ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ತಾಂತ್ರಿಕ ಮಹಾವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯ ಸಾಧಿಸಿದೆ ಹಾಗೆ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ಹೇಳಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಬಹಳ ಸಂತೋಷ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಸನ್ಮಾನ್ಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಪುಟ್ಟಸ್ವಾಮಿರವರೇ ಇವತ್ತು ತಮ್ಮೆಲ್ರಿಗೂ ಒಂದು ಹೊಸ ದಿಗ್ದರ್ಶನವನ್ನು ನೀಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಆಗಮಿಸಿರುವಂಥ ಭಾರತ ಸರ್ಕಾರದ ತಾಂತ್ರಿಕ ಸಮಿತಿಯ ಸಲಹೆಗಾರರೂ ಆಗಿರುವಂತಹ ಸನ್ಮಾನ್ಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಸುಂದರ್ ಮಡಕ್ಷಿರ ರವರೇ ಸಂಘದ ಇನ್ನಿತರೆ ಮುಖ್ಯಸ್ಥರು ಕೆಂಪೇಗೌಡ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಕಾಲೇಜಿನ ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷರೂ ಆಗಿರುವಂಥ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ರಮೇಶ್ ರವರೇ ಸಂಘದ ಮುಖ್ಯಸ್ಥರಾಗಿರುವಂಥ ಲೋಕೇಶ್ ರವರೇ ಮಂಜೇಗೌಡ್ರೇ ಬಹಳ ಮುಖ್ಯವಾಗಿ ನಿಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರೂ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ಗಳಾಗಿ ತಯಾರು ಮಾಡಿ ಪ್ರಪಂಚಕ್ಕೆ ಅರ್ಪಣೆ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರುವಂಥ ನಿಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರ ಪ್ರೀತಿಯ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ತಾಂತ್ರಿಕ ಮಹಾವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯದ ಪ್ರಾಂಶುಪಾಲರಾಗಿರುವಂತಹ ಸನ್ಮಾನ್ಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಅಶ್ವಥ್ರವರೇ ಮತ್ತು ವೇದಿಕೆ ಮೇಲೆ ಉಪಸ್ಥಿತರಿರುವ ಎಲ್ಲ ಗೌರವನೀಯ ಪ್ರಾಧ್ಯಾಪಕ ಬೋಧಕ ವೃಂದದವರೇ ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದ ಕೇಂದ್ರ ಬಿಂದು ನಿಮಗೋಸ್ಕರನೇ ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ಮಾಡಿರುವಂಥದ್ದು ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಸಾಧನೆ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರಿಂದ ಓದಿದ್ರಿಂದ ನಿಮಗೆ ಇವತ್ತು ಪದವಿ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿದೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಪ್ರದಾನ ಮಾಡುವಂಥ ಒಂದು ಅಪೂರ್ವ ಅವಕಾಶವನ್ನು ನೀವೆಲ್ಲರೂ ಕೂಡ ನಮಗೆ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದೀರಿ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ತಾಂತ್ರಿಕ ಮಹಾ ವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯದ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಪದವೀಧರೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಪೋಷಕ ಬಂಧುಗಳೇ ಆಸ್ತಿಕ ಮಹಾಶಯ ಮಾತನಾಡ್ತಾ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಾಲರು ಎಲ್ಲ ವಿಷಯಗಳನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಮತ್ತೆ ನೀವು ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋದ್ರೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳಾಗ್ತೀರಿ ಹಾಗೆ ನೋಡಿದ್ರೆ ನಾವೆಲ್ಲ ಒಟ್ಟಿನಿಂದ ಸಾಯುವವರೆಗೂ ಕೂಡ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳೇ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಎಂಡ್ ಅನ್ನುವಂಥದ್ದಿಲ್ಲ ಕೊನೆಯಿಲ್ಲ ಮನುಷ್ಯ ಸಾಯುವವರೆಗೂ ಕೂಡ 
ಕಲಿತನೇ ಇರಬೇಕು ಅನೇಕ ತಿರುವುಗಳ ಮಹಾ ಆಗರದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವೆಲ್ಲರೂ ಕೂಡ ಜೀವನವನ್ನು ಸಾಗಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇವೆ ಇದ್ರ ಮಧ್ಯೆ ಬರುವಂಥದ್ದು ಇವೆಲ್ಲ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಜೀವನದ ಗುರಿ ಏನಾಗಬೇಕು ಬರೀ ಪ್ರದ ಪದವಿಯನ್ನ ನಾವು ಪಡ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಸಾಕು ಆ ಪದವಿಯನ್ನ ಪರಿಣಾಮಕಾರಿಯಾಗಿ ಬಳಸಿ ಈ ಜಗತ್ತಿನ ಒಳಿತಿಗೆ ಇನ್ನೇನಾದ್ರೂ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಇದ್ಯೋ ಹಾಗೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ನೀವು ಯೋಚನೆ ಮಾಡುವಂತ ಒಂದು ಕ್ಲಿಷ್ಟವಾದ ಅತ್ಯಂತ ನಿರ್ಣಾಯಕವಾದ ಘಟ್ಟದಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ನಿಂತಿದ್ದೀರಿ ನಿಮ್ಮಿಂದ ಈ ಜಗತ್ತು ಬಹಳ ಬಯಸ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಈ ಜಗತ್ತಿಗೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಕೊಡುಗೆ ಬಹಳ ಇದೆ ಒಬ್ಬ ಅಬ್ದುಲ್ ಕಲಾಂ ರವರು ಮನಸ್ಸು ಮಾಡಿ ಅನೇಕ ಆವಿಷ್ಕಾರಗಳನ್ನ ಈ ದೇಶಕ್ಕೆ ತಂದುಕೊಟ್ರು ಮತ್ತು ಬೇರೆ ದೇಶದ ಎದುರಿಗೆ ನಾವು ತಲೆ ತೆಗೆಸಿ ನಿಲ್ಲುವಂತ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ರಕ್ಷಣಾ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆಯನ್ನು ಗಟ್ಟಿಗೊಳಿಸಿ ಭಾರತ ದೇಶ ಯಾರಿಗೂ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅನ್ನುವಂತ ದಿಟ್ಟ ಸಂದೇಶವನ್ನು ಕೊಟ್ರು ವಿಶ್ವೇಶ್ವರಯ್ಯನವರು ಒಂದು ಸಣ್ಣ ಹಳ್ಳಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಹುಟ್ಟಿ ಶ್ರದ್ಧೆಯಿಂದ ಓದಿ ಕೋಟ್ಯಾಂತರ ಜನಗಳಿಗೆ ಅನುಕೂಲ ಆಗುವಂತ ಅನೇಕ ಮೊದಲುಗಳನ್ನ ಈ ದೇಶಕ್ಕೆ ನಾಡಿಗೆ ಸಮರ್ಪಣೆ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ನೀವೇನಾಗ್ಬೇಕು ಹಾಗೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ನೀವು ಅಂದ್ಕೊಳ್ಬೇಕು ಒಂದೆಲ್ಲೋ ಕಂಪನಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ನೀವು ಉದ್ಯೋಗಿಗಳಾಗ್ತಿರೋ ಅಥವಾ ನೀವೇನೆ ಸಾವಿರಾರು ಜನ ಉದ್ಯೋಗಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಕೆಲಸ ಕೊಡುವಂತ ಕಂಪ್ನಿಗಳನ್ನ ಹುಟ್ಟ ಹಾಕ್ತಿರೋ ಇವೆಲ್ಲ ಮನುಷ್ಯನ ಇಚ್ಛಾಶಕ್ತಿ ವಿಲ್ ಪವರ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಹೋಗ್ತದೆ ತಾನೇನು ಬಯಸ್ತಾನೆ ಅದಾಗ್ತಾನೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ನೀವು ಒಳ್ಳೆಯದನ್ನ ಬಯಸೋದು ನಿಮ್ಮಿಂದ ಒಳ್ಳೆಯದಾಗುವುದನ್ನು ಬಯಸೋದು ಬಹಳ ಮುಖ್ಯ ನಿಮ್ಮ ತಂದೆ ತಾಯಿಗಳ ಶ್ರಮ ಪ್ರೀತಿ ಅವರ ತ್ಯಾಗದ ಫಲವಾಗಿ ಇವತ್ತು ನೀವಿಲ್ಲಿ ಕೊಳ್ತಿದ್ದೀರಿ ತಾಯಿಯನ್ನ ಮತ್ತು ತಾಯಿನಾಡನ್ನ ತಂದೆ ತಾಯಿಗಳನ್ನ ಮತ್ತು ತಾಯಿನಾಡನ್ನ ಯಾವತ್ತೂ ಕೂಡ ನೆನಪು ಮಾಡಿಕೊಳ್ಳುವಂತ ಶ್ರದ್ಧೆಯಿಂದ ಸ್ಮರಿಸುವಂತ ಸಿಕ್ಕ ಎಲ್ಲ ಅವಕಾಶಗಳಲ್ಲಿಯೂ ಕೂಡ ಅವರ ಸೇವೆ ಮಾಡುವಂತ ಸಂಸ್ಕಾರವನ್ನ ಇವೆಲ್ಲರೂ ಕೂಡ ಅಳವಡಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದೀರಾ ಅಥವಾ ಅಳವಡಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ತೀರಾ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ನಾನು ಭಾವಿಸ್ತೇನೆ ಇದು ಮಾತನಾಡುವಂತ ಸಮಯ ಅಲ್ಲ ನಾನು ಕೂಡ ಮತ್ತೆ ಮೈಸೂರಿಗೆ ಹೋಗ್ಬೇಕಾಗಿದೆ ನಾನು ಮೊದಲೇ ನಮ್ಮ ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷರಿಗೆ ತಿಳಿಸಿದ್ದೆ ಒಕ್ಕಲಿಗರ ಸಂಘ ಒಂದು ಸಮುದಾಯದ ಸಂಘವಾದರೂ ಕೂಡ ಎಲ್ಲ ಧರ್ಮ ಜಾತಿ ಮಕ್ಕಳನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ಸಮಾನವಾಗಿ ಕಂಡು ಅವರಿಗೆ ಒಂದು ಉತ್ತಮ ಭವಿಷ್ಯವನ್ನು ಕಲ್ಪಿಸುವಂತಹ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗಳನ್ನ ಹುಟ್ಟು ಹಾಕಿ ಬೆಳೆಸ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ನಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಆ ವಿಷಯವಾಗಿ ಬಹಳ ಸಂತೋಷ ಇದೆ ಹಾಗೇನೆ ಮುಂದಿನ ದಿನಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನು ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೆ ಇದೊಂದು ಬ್ರ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಬಿ ಐ ಟಿ ಅನ್ನುವಂಥದ್ದು ಒಂದು ಒಳ್ಳೆಯ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ಆಗಿ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ನಾಡಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಬ್ರ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಆ ಬ್ರ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ನಾಡಿನಲ್ಲೇನೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ತಾಂತ್ರಿಕ ಮಹಾವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯವನ್ನ ನೀವು ತೆಗಿಬೇಕು ಹಾಗೆ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ಪುಟ್ಟಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ನಾನು ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೆ ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷರು ಬಂದಿಲ್ಲ 
ಅದರಿಂದ ಮುಂದಿನ ದಿನಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಅವರೆಲ್ಲರೂ ಕೂಡ ಚಿಂತನೆಯನ್ನು ನಡೆಸಿ ಈ ನಾಡನ್ನ ನಿರ್ಮಾಣ ಮಾಡದಂತ ಅದರಲ್ಲೂ ಈ ಊರನ್ನ ನಿರ್ಮಾಣ ಮಾಡದಂತ ಕೆಂಪೇಗೌಡರ ಹೆಸರಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಇದೆ ಹಾಗೇನೆ ಕೆಂಪೇಗೌಡರ ಹೆಸರಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಅತ್ಯಂತ ಅತ್ಯಾಧುನಿಕ ಗುಣಮಟ್ಟದ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಘದ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಕೂಡ ಆಗಲಿ ಹಾಗೆ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ಆ ನಿಮಿತ್ತ ನಮ್ಮ ಪುಟ್ಟಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಅವರು ಲೋಕೇಶ್ ಅವರು ಮಂಜೇಗೌಡರು ಬಹಳ ಉತ್ಸಾಹಿಗಳಾಗಿರುವಂತ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ರಮೇಶ್ ಅವರು ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಕೂಡ ಮನಸ್ಸು ಮಾಡಲಿ ಹಾಗೆ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ಇನ್ನುಳಿದಂತ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷಗಳು ಕೂಡ ಅವರು ಮನವರಿಕೆ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಡ್ಲಿ ಸ್ವಾಮಿಗಳು ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಈ ಈ ನಗರದಲ್ಲಿ ಆ ಬಹಳ ಅತ್ಯವಶ್ಯ ಬಹುಶಃ ಈ ಹೆಸರಿನಲ್ಲಾದ್ರೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಘದ ಅಡಿನಲ್ಲಾದ್ರೆ ಅದು ಕೂಡ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಪ್ರತಿಷ್ಠಿತ ವಿದ್ಯಾಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯಾಗಿ ನಾಡಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಹೊರಹೊಮ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಇದೆ ಅದನ್ನ ನಮ್ಮ ಸಮಿತಿ ಮನಸ್ಸು ಮಾಡುತ್ತದೆ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ನಾನು ಭಾವನೆ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಮತ್ತೊಮ್ಮೆ ಆ ನೂತನವಾಗಿ ಇವತ್ತು ಒಂದು ಸಾವಿರಕ್ಕೂ ಮಿಕ್ಕು ಆ ಪದವಿಯನ್ನ ಸ್ವೀಕಾರ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರುವಂತ ಎಲ್ಲ ನವ ಭಾರತ ನಿರ್ಮಾತೃಗಳು ನೀವೆಲ್ಲ ಆ ಭಾರತ ನಿರ್ಮಾತೃಗಳು ಆಗ್ತೀರಿ ಜಗತ್ತಿನ ನಿರ್ಮಾತೃಗಳು ಆಗ್ತೀರಿ ಆ ಸಾಧ್ಯವಾದಷ್ಟು ನಮ್ಮ ದೇಶಕ್ಕೆ ಸೇವೆ ಸಲ್ಲಿಸುವಂತ ತಾಯ್ನಾಡಿಗೆ ಸೇವೆ ಸಲ್ಲಿಸುವಂತ ಆ ತಂದೆ ತಾಯಿಗಳ ಶ್ರಮ ಪ್ರೀತಿ ತ್ಯಾಗವನ್ನ ನೀವು ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ಅವರನ್ನ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ನೋಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳುವಂತ ಮಕ್ಕಳಾಗ್ಬೇಕು ಅದು ಬಹಳ ದೊಡ್ಡದು ಆ ಕೆಲಸವನ್ನ ನೀವೆಲ್ಲರೂ ಕೂಡ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೀರಾ ಹಾಗೆ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ಮತ್ತೊಮ್ಮೆ ಹೃದಯ ಪೂರ್ವಕ ಶುಭಾಶಯಗಳನ್ನ ತಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಾನು ಕೋರ್ತ ಕಳೆದ ವರ್ಷ ಇದೇ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಓದ್ದಂತವರು ಯು ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಎನಲ್ಲಿ ತೇರ್ಗಡೆ ಆಗಿ ಐ ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಆಫೀಸರ್ ಆದರೂ ಹಾಗೆ ಅಂತ ಕೇಳಿದೆ ಈಗ ಮುನ್ನೂರ ನಲವತ್ತೈದನೇ ರ್ಯಾಂಕು ಪಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿದೆ ಇದೇ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಓದಿದ ಅಂತ ಮಗು ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ನಾನು ನಿಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರ ಜೋರು ಚಪ್ಪಾಳೆಯ ಮೂಲಕ ಅಭಿನಂದನೆಯನ್ನು ತಿಳಿಸಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಇಚ್ಛೆ ಪಡುತ್ತೇನೆ ಅವ್ರ ಸೇವೆ ಕೂಡ ದಾಮಿನಿ ಗೌಡ್ರ ಅವರ ಸೇವೆ ಕೂಡ ಭಾರತ ದೇಶಕ್ಕೆ ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಹಾಗೆ ಈ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ಯಾರು ಅಡಿಪಾಯ ಹಾಕಿರುವಂಥದ್ದು ನಿಮಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿದೆ ಆ ಓ ನನ್ನ ಚೇತನ ಆಗುನಿ ಅನಿಕೇತನ ಬಹಳ ದೊಡ್ಡ ವಿಶಾಲ ಅರ್ಥದಲ್ಲಿ ಆ ಚಿಂತನೆಯನ್ನು ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡು ಬೆಳಕು ಚೆಲ್ಲದಂತ ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರಕವಿ ಕುವೆಂಪುರವರು ಅಂಥವರು ಅಡಿಪಾಯ ಹಾಕದಂತ ಒಂದು ಶ್ರೇಷ್ಠ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ತಾವೆಲ್ಲರೂ ಕೂಡ ಓದ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀರಾ ನೀವೆಲ್ಲರೂ ಕೂಡ ಅದೃಷ್ಟವಂತರು ಹಾಗೆ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ನಾನು ಭಾವಿಸ್ತೇನೆ ಮುಂದೆ ಕೂಡ ಸಿವಿಲ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ಗೆ ಅದು ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸು ಅಥವಾ ಯು ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಏನು ಆ ಥರದ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ನೀವೆಲ್ಲರೂ ಕೂಡ ಬರಬೇಕು ದೇಶದ ಆಡಳಿತ ಇರುವಂಥದ್ದು ಅವತ್ತು ನಿಮಗೆಲ್ಲರೂ ಗೊತ್ತಿರುವಂತೆ ಕಾರ್ಯಾಂಗದಲ್ಲಿ ಐ ಎ ಎಸ್ನವರೇ ಇವತ್ತು ದೇಶ ನಡೆಸ್ತಾ ಇರುವಂಥದ್ದು ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ನೀವು ಕೂಡ ದಾಮಿನಿ ಗೌಡರನ್ನ ಮಾದರಿಯಾಗಿಟ್ಟುಕೊಂಡು ಆ ಯು ಪಿ ಎಸ್ಗೆ ತಯಾರಿ ನಡೆಸಿ ನಿಮ್ಮಲ್ಲೂ ಹತ್ತಾರು ಜನ ಆ ಐ ಎ ಎಸ್ ಐ ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಐ ಎಫ್ ಎಸ್ ಆಗ್ಲಿ ಹಾಗೆ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ತಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಾನು ಮತ್ತೊಮ್ಮೆ ಶುಭಾಶಯ ಕೋರ್ತ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಜೋರು ಚಪ್ಪಾಳೆಯೊಂದಿಗೆ ದಾಮಿನಿ ಗೌಡರು ಕೂಡ ನಾನು ಅಭಿನಂದನೆಯನ್ನ ತಿಳಿಸ್ತ ಭಗವಂತ ತಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರೂ ಕೂಡ ಒಳಿತನ್ನು ಕರುಣಿಸಲಿ ಹಾಗೆ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ತುಂಬ ಹೃದಯದಿಂದ ಹಾರೈಸ್ತೇನೆ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಬಹಳ ಮುಖ್ಯವಾಗಿ ಈ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ಕಳಿಸಿರಿ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತೆರಡು ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಬಂದಿತ್ತ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತೆಂಟು ಈ ಸರಿ ಈ ಸರಿ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತೈದು ಮೂರ್ ಯಾಕೆ ಕಮ್ಮಿ ಆಯ್ತು ಹಾ ಈ ಸರಿನು ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತೆಂಟೆ ಓಹೋ ಹದಿನೆಂಟು ಚಿನ್ನದ ಪದಕವನ್ನ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ತೆಗೆದುಕೊಂಡಿದೆ ಹಾ ಒಬ್ಬ ಒಬ್ಬನೇ ಹದಿನೆಂಟು ಹಾ ಹಾ
ತುಂಬ ಹೃದಯದ ಅಭಿನಂದನೆಯನ್ನು ಸಲ್ಲಿಸ್ತೇನೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಪುಟ್ಟಸ್ವಾಮಿರ ಅವರು ಯಾವಾಗಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಯಾವಾಗ ಬಂದರೂ ಕೂಡ ಈ ಕಾಲೇಜಿನ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಬಹಳಷ್ಟು ಆಳವಾದ ಆಸಕ್ತಿ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡು ಮಾತನಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅವರು ಕೂಡ ಸ್ವತಃ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗಳನ್ನ ನಡೆಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವರ ಒತ್ತಾಸೆಯಿಂದ ಇಷ್ಟೆಲ್ಲ ಆಗಿದೆ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ನಾನು ಭಾವನೆ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ತಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಭಗವಂತ ಒಳಿತನ್ನ ಕರ್ಣಿಸಲಿ ಹಾಗೆ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ತುಂಬ ಹೃದಯದಿಂದ ಹಾರೈಸಿ I request the dignitaries on the dais to felicitate Ms. Damini M. Das as the token of heartfelt appreciation. request the dignitaries and the dais to felicitate our chief guest mr sundar madakshira ceo of resolve india to accept the token of gratitude request the dignitaries on the dais to present the humble offerings to shri 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 dr nanjavaduta mahaswami ji
now it is the time for honoring the rank holders and the merit awardees we have with us the students who have out outsmarted their peers with their outstanding performance let us felicitate those talents who have portrayed academic excellence and have brought pride to the institution i hand over the stage to professor shruti ba assistant professor department of artificial intelligence and machine learning to lead the guests to honor these outstanding talents a very blissful morning to the assembly of distinguished guests worthy members of executive board most prized delegates and valued audience overwhelming elation sweeps us when we have gathered today to acknowledge the most talented pool of our institution who are the star performers of this session i request all the dignitary on the dais to present the award of position holders please put your hands together for samyukta hem uh, department of electronic electrical and electronics engineering for being first topper sahil kochar second topper c aparna electronics and telecommunication engineering for uh, being awarded with her phd डॉक्टर विद्या सरस्वती एच एन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग डॉक्टर एम शिल्पा डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग डॉक्टर एस मर्सी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग डॉक्टर नवनीत नटराज डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग
डॉक्टर ई निरंजन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग Kindly request the students not to hoot, whistle, only, only claps will do. Thank, Thank you. Doctor Kavita Rani. Doctor Basavraj, Department of Electronics and Communication. Dr. Harish Kumar, Department of Electronics and Communication. Dr. Gnanesh, Department of MBA. Continue with the uh, felicitation later. It is the time for the digital release of coffee table book which glorifies the achievements and the memories of the students during their journey at BIT. It is the souvenir to graduating students to cherish and relish the achievements and the memories at BIT. I request the dignitaries on the dais for the release. I request Karthik Hachin, editor of coffee table book to join. Thank you. It's an honor to have with us Mr. Sundar Madakshira, CEO of Resolve India. Mr. Sundar is a part of four member Prime Minister's Digital Innovation Council and the member of Editorial Advisory of Harvard Business Review. Mr. Sundar has held the leadership roles for over 26 years in the various functions with companies such as Adobe, Hindustan Unilever, Visa, SAP, Wipro and Infosys. Being three gold medalists in industrial and production engineering from RV College of Engineering and Ego Evo gold medalist at TAPI Management Institute of, Man Institute of Management, Manipal. He is the recognized speaker in the industry forums such as ASCOM, NASCOM, and CII. His views on business have been quoted by the publications such as Forbes, Economic Times, Mint, Times of India, and Hindu Business Line.
Dr. Sundar has shown interest in studying the Indian scriptures under the tutelage of noted scholars. He volunteers his time with a non-profit organization, Ataha, which seeks to create awareness about the Indian scriptures among the youth. It's my privilege to invite the esteemed chief guest, Mr. Sundar Madakshira, to address the gathering. Please take over, sir. Good afternoon to all of you. I know it's a very exciting day for all of us, but I need 15 to 20 minutes of your full attention and as much of silence as possible. Sure, you'll give me that? Yes. So, uh, respected Swamiji who just departed from our presence here, um, Sri Puttaswami, the chairman of the Governing Council of BIT, guests of honor, Dr. Ashwat, the principal of BIT, deans, heads of department, members of the faculty, staff, parents, media, and of course, my very, very dear students. Today, before I start and share what I wanted to tell you, I think I would request your help in clapping very loudly for three people who have made this day possible for us. I think the first one is our parents. The Upanishads. The Upanishads say Matru Devo Bhava, Pitru Devo Bhava. Then it is the others. So Matru Devo Bhava is ahead of Pitru Devo Bhava also. So I think our parents, just imagine what would have we been without them. Right? We wouldn't have been there in the first place. But even after we were born, their sacrifices, their vision, they have toiled all their life to see this day for you. So it is a very important day for all of you, but I think it's more important day for them. So that's the first people that we should be thanking. The second are your teachers, Acharya Devo Bhava. So loud road of applause for all the teachers who have toiled so, many, so hard, not just at the Bangalore Institute of Technology, but all your kindergarten students, teachers, who taught you A, B, C, D, and 1, 2, 3, 4, because of which we are all graduating today. Imagine, if you go back and tell them that today was your graduation day, but you taught me English alphabets, how happy they will be. The third one, of course, is the staff of BIT, the non-teaching staff who are so important. Everybody from the person who is at the security gate of this organization all the way up to people who work in your laboratories, your admissions office, a huge administrative function. So let's thank them also on this occasion. So first thing I would like to share with you as somebody from the industry, all of you are going to join the industry. The first thing I would say is, is that, that you should feel proud of, of what, what you have achieved. We lack that pride. As a country, as a society, we need to be extremely proud of what we have achieved. Each one of you sitting in the audience and graduating today needs to feel proud that you are amongst the chosen few in this country who has educated himself all the way up to being an engineer. It's not easy. It's not been a journey that has been easy. Right from the time that you, that you started learning alphabets all the way till now, solving some of the toughest problems in so many subjects, passing so many exams, is not been an easy journey for you. So first thing I would say, feel proud. Know your capabilities. 
it's very important to know what are your real strengths at the same time you should know what your limitations are all of us are not all powerful everybody does not know everything but you should know what you know and very importantly what you don't know many years ago i had the opportunity to work directly with mr azim prem ji who at that time was a ceo and chairman of ipro and what i learned from mr prem ji was just understanding what he knew and what he didn't know so wherever he knew what he knew he would make the decisions but whenever there were things that he did not know he knew whom to ask and consult right so that's a very important aspect for a leader so that is the first thing i would like to share second thing always remember we have very important lessons to learn from our past i was recently watching a lovely uh, documentary by national geographic special about the 10 best hydroelectric projects in the world so it is a countdown so they started with number 10 then it came to 9 and 8 and so on and nowhere was there mention of india so by the time it happened 5 then 4 i was getting very restless and upset but imagine what happened after 2 it was number 1 and that was none other than the krs hydropower project done by uh, saram visheshwaraya of which we have to be so proud so how did india suddenly become an engineering country india is called the second silicon valley we got the largest number of engineers across the world why did that happen that did not happen overnight the ability to understand mathematics the ability to understand complex engineering problems is not new anybody who has visited any temple in india especially the south of india will see the complex constructions and architecture that is where today what we have as software engineering has its roots because we were so strong in those country in in and in those centuries we have been able to establish an engineering practice today so today is a time to feel that the you know that the we have lessons to learn from the past but very importantly what you also need to remember is the future is never dependent on the past you have to know the past you have to learn from it but on the past you have to remember that because if you don't after 10 years all the skills that we have studied will all become irrelevant we have to keep learning that's the second thing third thing is prepare and educate yourself for the next stage see whatever education that you have got is like filling petrol or diesel in your vehicle how long will it last it will last for the next 5 years after 5 years all the technology that we think today which we say is the latest technology will not be there tomorrow so therefore we have to prepare for the future for the next stage and for the future for the next stage and for that certain things which do not work for you which are pulling you down you have to leave it back all of you have seen a rocket have you seen the launch of a rocket yeah at least in youtube videos you would have seen right so go look at how a rocket goes out when a rocket is launched it is so big after some time it becomes very small how did it become small at each stage it keeps dropping things which were which have served the purpose so if certain technologies certain pieces of the knowledge that you have do not serve you for the future you have to give up those aspects and keep learning new things if a rocket decides no 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 i like all these lovely engines and fuel etc i will not throw it the rocket will not climb at all right it has to drop it's uh, all the extra weight that it is carrying even an aircraft you have seen an aircraft taking off after some time the wheels will fold because it should not create a drop, you know downward drop so remember prepare and educate yourself for the next stage next thing is principal sir already has spoken about it is to choose your path and solve problems 
engineers are meant to solve problems always look for what problem you can example of what happened in wipro many years ago i think almost 20 years back they had inducted about 500 engineers and mr prem ji was addressing their uh, you know their induction program and uh, there was one student so he finished his address one student um, said sir i have a question so mr prem ji said yes please tell me what is the question he said sir what is wipro's biggest problem what is wipro's biggest problem mr prem ji replied saying china we are not able to grow in china so i wish every company seems to be growing in china only wipro is not growing so how do we make wipro grow in china that's my biggest problem that boy said thank you sir i got my answer and he sat down so mr prem ji got very curious he asked why did you ask me this question the student replied and i will never forget this in my life you know what he said he said i asked this because after this induction program is over the hr department had has uh, asked us where you want to be placed which city you want to be placed what is your choice he said today i got my answer i want to be in china so mr prem ji said do you know what problem is there in china for our growth you know what was his answer he said sir i am an engineer i can solve anything i think that's the most brilliant answer you can give to solve a problem you don't need intelligence you need perseverance you need hard work that's the next thing i would like to tell you then respect people and learn from them everybody has got something to teach us in our life everything the time for formal education is over today today after some time you may not find for those of you who are going to study of course this is going to continue but for those of you who are joining industry the opportunities for formal education come down so therefore you have to learn from everybody and everything i will tell you the story of amita bachan once i was uh, shooting an ad i am a marketing person so i was shooting an ad in uh, in a studio in bombay once it was raining very heavily so we had to stop the shooting because of the noise it was making on the studio so i came out of the studio and there is there is was the next studio there was a small gap when i stood there suddenly the door opened mr abhita bachan was standing there so obviously yes as somebody who is an admirer of him I was quite surprised and shocked to see him and then he told me he asked me uh, sir what do you do i told him i work for a marketing company i work for visa as a marketing head of course i didn't ask him that question what does he do but he said you know we are shooting an ad can you come inside and uh, watch the shoot i said of course so i went inside i watched the shoot he shot he shot for about 10 minutes and then you know what he did he came and asked me what do you think of this shot is it good i said um, you know what sir you know what i was taking some time to answer immediately he said sir don't answer i got my answer it's not working that's what you are telling me and he went outside and he said okay let me think what is wrong and there was a person who was a security guard outside he asked him aapne wo shoot dekha kya he said yes aapko theek laga that person said sir aap kar rahe ho to theek hi kar rahe hoge that means if you are doing it it must be right because you are amita bachan he said no but what do you think that security guard said very boldly he said sir this is not right there is something not working for this for this ad immediately mr amita bachan went back and told the whole team that look everybody is saying something is not working i am also not convinced so let us rethink on what we are doing and doing it again imagine a person of that stature who is a who is one of the best actors the world has ever seen actually come back and learn from a security guard right if you keep learning you will never become outdated so respect people and then 
a learn from them recently you know a lot of people mention that if you look at the list of global companies everywhere indians are the ceos so everybody said you look at ibm you look at microsoft you look at google any top company my former company adobe all of them are headed by indians so there was a very interesting article about why these companies and how come indians are the ceos of these companies the answer there of course there are some many factors but one important factor that they mentioned was indians are by definition very very humble they can learn they keep learning that's why these ceos despite being in technology company have to keep learning so if you're not humble you'll never learn So, so these people always learnt and, and that, that is why, why they are where they are so it's not a surprise that so many companies are headed by indians the sixth point i want to tell you is have gratitude and thank people for what we have it's very very easy in our growth in our movement in our lives we forget to thank people who have contributed to our success so never forget to thank people because this gratitude sense of gratitude that you have will always make you uh, a great leader next thing is take care of yourself we are very worried about lot of things in the world but we don't take care of ourselves sir is there from kempegowda institute of medical sciences he will tell us how to take care of ourselves so our physical health our mental health and our spiritual health all all of them are very very important for us today we are faced with unbelievable suicide divorce rates and very poor mental health the the, the world health organization has declared that mental health is the biggest challenge for humanity growing forward unfortunately the covid situation has made it only worse so if you are not mentally fit you are not physically fit and you are not spiritually fit even though you want to achieve lot of things you will not be able to achieve because your body will not cooperate your mind will not cooperate and your spirit the, the strength that you all have today will not be there tomorrow so take care of these things when this program was being held you could hear a flute music being played that was of the very famous song by lata mangeshkar you can imagine that we are playing this song after nearly you know 40 i think it's about 50 to 60 years old song why are we playing that song here how did lata mangeshkar sing like that one of the reasons for that is how long she lived in her life she lived 92 imagine she had died at 35 how many songs we would never have heard she would never have got the opportunity to sing those songs look at my who unfortunately have died early or who are so unwell that despite the best intention that they have they have not succeed the next thing i would like to say is about your institute is your identity wherever you go in your cv in your linkedin profile bangalore institute of technology will always be there so help you have already contributed by being students but now you need to contribute to the institute as an alumni i am so happy to note the, the principal of this college himself is an alumni of bit there are many people in the teaching faculty who are all alumni of this institute so you have to contribute you may join industry but you have to contribute how can you contribute simple thing we were just discussing if you can come back and teach here as teachers Give, give guest lectures in 2 years, years all of you will be experts on programming language on new manufacturing technique on a new mathematical problem that you have solved in your industry come and share it with your friends help in placements of your juniors right for both projects and other things if you think there is an opportunity for your company to consult with the professors here in the form of a research project or a implementation project come back don't go elsewhere bangalore institute of technology is there to solve some of your problem that you may not be able to solve being a part of the company so therefore i would urge all of you 
to strengthen BIT even more after going out. And remember, you are the brand ambassadors of this institute. So whatever you do, right, and whatever you do wrong, will be attributed back to the institute. If you do something right, people will say, Yav Institute in the Bandera Euro. Who is it? Which institute has we come from? If you do something wrong, Yar Euro. Where are these people? Why have you recruited from this institute? And you will get a bad name, which is very difficult. He said that, you know, we, we had so many batches. The work of all those batches will go away in one company. And to get that company back to the campus is very difficult. So therefore, remember, you are putting a big badge. The badge may be of your company, but there is a badge behind that, which is that of the Bangalore Institute of Technology, of which all of you are students. Lastly, and I would like to close with this, is there is a very, very severe, if you ask me, there is only one thing that you all need to focus as far as the industry is concerned today. There is a severe vitamin D deficiency. You know, sir, please correct me if I am wrong. There is very severe vitamin D deficiency. Even uh, Kim's college cannot solve that sometimes. What is that vitamin D deficiency? The D is nothing but discipline. Right? The industry expects you to be very, very disciplined. You have to deliver to your promises. Right? So yes, all of you have, because of your discipline, to the extent that you are disciplined, you have come this far. Imagine you had lost discipline when you were in class 10 or class 12. Would you have been graduates here? No. But the industry requires a disciplined way of working. After some time, you ask me, you know, everybody asks me, what is the difference between IIT students and other students? What's the difference? All this difference can be there only for first three or four years. Maximum five years. After five years, it is your performance. It is your discipline, how you work. Right? How, how to be disciplined. Um, I'm, I don't know anything about Madam who has just joined UPSC. I don't know anything about her. I heard only this morning after coming here. But I can tell you, I was just observing her. She is already behaving like an IPS officer. Right? Her parents are here. How disciplined it must have been for her? Is she the smartest person? Maybe she is, I don't know. But I can safely tell you, she is the most disciplined person. All of you will agree with that. I don't think she would have made it otherwise. Simple. Right? So, uh, hearty congratulations to you ma'am, one day. Um, so, thank you for uh, making all of us extremely proud. So, this is what I would like to have shared, the 10 points that I wanted to tell you. Feel very proud, know your capabilities and know your limitations. Future is not dependent on the past. We have lessons to learn from that, however. Prepare and educate yourself for the next stage. This stage is not important. What are you going to do tomorrow? You can't wake up in the morning and decide, okay, what am I going to do? Today you have to prepare for tomorrow. Respect people and learn from them. Choose your path and solve real problems. Have gratitude to thank people. Take care of yourself. Build strong relationships. Your institute is your identity and discipline is what is going to make you scale up to the next level of eminence that all of you are there. So today is a great day for two reasons. One of course is this is your graduation day and all of you need to be very, very proud. I know all of you are planning big parties and all that today. So wish you all the best. You are entitled to it. Have a great time. And my wish for you, today is also a great day for one more reason. Does anyone you know, know today what is special about today? 70 years before, back on this day, Sir Edmund Hillary and Tenzin Norgay climbed the Mount Everest 70 years back. After they did it, it was possible for many people to try. And today you see, many, many more people are climbing the Mount Everest. My wish for all of you is that all of you climb the Mount Everest of your life.
which is nothing but realizing your full potential i never say wish you best of luck i always wish you the best of opportunities thanks a lot for your patient hearing thanks a lot to the to the members of bit professor ashwat especially for having invited me and to speak to the future leaders of this country one of you mark my words please record this this is on video and i i will say it one of you will be a ceo of a 10 billion dollar company in the next 10 years not 10 years maybe less don't hold me for that it will be less than 10 years one of you sitting here right now will be the ceo of a, of a large company of your own company of your startup company that is what india is all about we have never followed anybody in the in any part of the world we make our own path and today india is a shining star i pray to god that you get an opportunity to contribute to increasing the shine of our country and of our society thank you so much thank you very much sir for your motivational talk sharing your interactions with the most successful people and making the students understand the importance of ever evolving industry and the need to adapt to the changes by keeping up the skills on par and also being disciplined in work and carrying forward the legacy of bit thank you sir today we have with us ms damini m das standing as a shining example of dedication and intellectual prowess to have conquered the upsc exam which is considered one of the competitive and the prestigious examinations in our country on behalf of rajya vakkaligara sangha and bangalore institute of technology my heartfelt congratulations to our esteemed upsc topper i take this moment to mention we are really proud of ms damini for emerging as the epitome of excellence may i call upon ms damini alumni of computer science and engineering department bit to share her success journey with us please damini ellarigu namaskara igagle principal sir matte sundar sir helirodikinta hechige nanigeno gotilla helo antaddu agli motivate maado antaddu i can just talk from my perspective and a small experience that i have had all these years modlige naan yen helak ishta padtini andre ivattige nan yen agidini anod ellarigu kaanistade matte ellaru nan bage hemme padtidare matte congrats heltidare adre naan ivatte yen agidini adak kaarana nam maneyavaru adrallu ನಮ್ಮ ಅತ್ತೆ ಗಾಯತ್ರಿ ದೇವಿ ಅವರು ನಮ್ಮ ಅಪ್ಪ ಅಮ್ಮ ಊರಲ್ಲಿರೋರು ಆದ್ರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರಲ್ಲಿ ಇತ್ಕೊಂಡು ನನ್ನ ನೋಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಓದ್ಕೊಂಡು ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಂದ್ರಲ್ಲೂ ನನ್ನ ಬಿಹೇವಿಯರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲದ್ರಲ್ಲೂ ತಿದ್ಕೊಂಡು ಬಂದಿದ್ದು ನಮ್ಮ ಅತ್ತೆ ಇವತ್ ಅತ್ತೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಆದ್ರೆ ಅಣ್ಣ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಮನು ಅಣ್ಣ ಅವ್ರ ಮಗ ಹೀಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವೆರಿ ಸಕ್ಸಸ್ಫುಲ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಟುಡೆ ಹೀಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಆಫೀಸರ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಮೀ ಇಮೆನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೆಷರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೀಸ್ ವರ್ ಮೈ ರೋಲ್ ಮಾಡೆಲ್ಸ್ ಗ್ರೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ ಚಿಕ್ಕ ವಯಸ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಯಾರಾದ್ರೂ ರೋಲ್ ಮಾಡೆಲ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ತಾರೆ ಆದ್ರೆ ನನ್ ರೋಲ್ ಮಾಡೆಲ್ಸ್ ನನ್ ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲೇ ಇದ್ರು ಇನ್ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಅವರೆಲ್ಲ ಇರೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಅವರೆಲ್ಲ ಮನೆ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಿಲಿಟೀಸ್ ನ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ತಗೊಂಡಿದ್ದಕ್ಕೋಸ್ಕರ ಬೀಂಗ್ ದ ಯಂಗರ್ ಒನ್ ನನಗ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ತು ಟು ಪರ್ಸ್ಯೂ ಮೈ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ ಟು ರಿಸೈನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಮೈ ಜಾಬ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಗೋ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಯು ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಸೊ ನಾನು ಅವರಿಗೆಲ್ಲ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಹೇಳೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಇಷ್ಟಪಡ್ತೀನಿ ನಮ್ಮ ದೊಡ್ಡಪ್ಪ ದೊಡ್ಡಮ್ಮ ನಮ್ಮ ಅಪ್ಪ ಅಮ್ಮ ನಾ ಅಣ್ಣಂದ್ರು ಅಕ್ಕಂದ್ರು ದೇ ಆರ್ ದ ರೀಸನ್ ಫಾರ್ ವೇರ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಟುಡೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಶೇರ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ಲಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇರೋರಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಜನಕ್ಕೆ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಆಸಕ್ತಿ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಕೆಲವರಿಗೆ ಸಿವಿಲ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಆಸಕ್ತಿ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಸಿಂಗಿಂಗ್ ಡ್ಯಾನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಯಾವ್ದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಏನಾದ್ರೂ ಆಸಕ್ತಿ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಅಂಡ್ ದಯವಿಟ್ಟು ಯಾವ್ದನ್ನು ಮೇಲಲ್ಲ ಕೇಳಲ್ಲ ಇಫ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಬ್ಸಲ್ಯೂಟ್ಲಿ ಓಕೆ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ನೀವ್ ಏನೇ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಅವಶ್ಯಕತೆ ಇರೋಷ್ಟು ಪರಿಶ್ರಮ ಹಾಕಿ ಪರಿಶ್ರಮ ಇಲ್ದೇನೆ ಯಾರು ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಸಿಂಗರ್ ಡ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ ಆಕ್ಟರ್ ಅಥವಾ ಸಿವಿಲ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸಸ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಯಾವ್ದು ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಇಲ್ಲ ನೀವ್ ಏನೇ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕಂತಿದ್ರು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಅವಶ್ಯಕತೆ ಇರೋಷ್ಟು ಪರಿಶ್ರಮ ದಯವಿಟ್ಟು ಹಾಕಿ ಪರಿಶ್ರಮ ಇಲ್ದೇನೆ ಹೆಚ್ಚಿಗೆ ಏನು ಸಾಧಿಸೋದು ಆಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಮತ್ತೆ ಸಪೋಸ್ ನಿಮಗೆ ಸಿವಿಲ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನ ಆಸಕ್ತಿ ಇದ್ರೆ ದಯವಿಟ್ಟು ತಗೊಳ್ಳಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಯು ಪಿ 
it's about how and how how the upsc journey itself enriches you i can confidently tell if you take up the upsc exam in, uh, exams and start preparing for it at the end of the journey uh, be it after 2 years 3 years or 4 years you will definitely come out as a better version of yourself intellectually matrala bari na nana sampadistivi antalla be discipline uh, be staying balanced perseverance emotional strength yelladunu upsc kalsutte so uh, this is why i'd like to thank my college for inviting me here today it i'm very happy i can't express how happy i am to come back here today and address all of you and knowing uh, that we live in a generation of youtube shorts and insta reels i'll cut my sh- cut short my speech uh, till here because just the attention span nyari ko iradilla thank you very much thank you dami for your inspiring words your achievement will forever be engraved in the records of our institution's history may i now humbly request Dr D K Ramesh chairman kins college to please address the gathering friends today, today is, is very memorable day in your, in your academic career, career. you are all, all completed, completed your hard work of 4 years in bit and you are moving out of this institution but yens for you are all empowered and able to practice your own profession outside the world world is very competitive we need to update yourself keep reading keep interacting and attend the seminars and be in touch with the institution and our mentoring teachers this institution is a very important institution in one of the famous institution in bangalore to repute at the institution of excellence to importing the whole technical education and research work recently got nya k plus accreditation i should thank our chairman and all the faculty in the management that supported for this cause and our we got a very dedicated teachers for all experienced who are all were were playing a role model for the students our going students especially and students students never forget that your your, your parents, parents they stood, they stood behind, behind you in difficult times supporting, supporting you financially emotionally in all the times of your, of your academic, academic career world, world, world is so, so wide today, today we are all, all educated 
we are all scientifically you have stepped down to the moon and there was a mars mission but still you are living in a civil society with a lot of problems say for example in any governments the state government or the central government a lot of corruption even in the judiciary executive legislative wherever you go a lot of corruption so you are the solution for all the problems as our chief guest was mentioning don't go to china a lot of problems are there what the student answered so i am a technical graduate i can solve the problem i can analytically analytically i can i can use my brain and solve the problem like that even today in spite of you being civilized and educated in all those spheres of life but still the corruption is it's rampant in the india for that also the engineering graduates are the solution you want for the administration the design engineers they can come out with a beautiful you know innovative designs to solve the problems of the society and the public and corruption even a digital currency itself is a solution for the corruption you can use the technology as a interface in every aspect of your business not only this corruption even traffic regulation Even even, even even that scientific uh, scientific, uh, scientific, scientific advancements are making inroads into all the fields, fields even, even health, health sector for that matter even, even, even artificial, artificial intelligence and machine learning and robotics, robotics and even, and even uh, artificial intelligence recently the integration of artificial intelligence in uh, ct scan and mri scan where we can detect the uh, abnormality and where the doctors can identify and come to a conclusion in managing the patient care it's a holistic approach we need and engineering graduates don't feel bad you are one of your friend or classmate she has achieved you know she has cracked is exam every engineering student is equally potent and equally capable mentally only, only thing, thing is we need, need a determination a dedication hard work and perseverance then only, only the scale of success may vary as our chief guest told, told scale of success may vary but if you are very disciplined and if you update your knowledge continuously definitely with your hard work you can achieve your goals friends you have all of you have taken the oath Russia, Russia is waging war with Ukraine. Ukraine. Whatever, Whatever the missiles or tankers or bombers they are using, it's all, it's all because of man-made man that two engineers made. With your knowledge, you took both. Use your knowledge for only for the welfare of the mankind and the nature, not not against the nature. what's, what's going, going on in ukraine, ukraine? Don't, don't, don't use your knowledge, knowledge for, the, for, the for the destruction of the nature even, even when, when, when first time, first time when the computer was invented, invented america, america used, used the computer, the computer to, to drop the bombs on hiroshima and, and, and nagasaki so hence so for i request all of you so, so, so with your, your hard work and dedication with your contribution we can we can shape the society you can contribute the nation you can make this world a beautiful place to live in and the world where the the, the, the earth in a solar system in a milky way galaxy in a universe we are very minute a tiny particle in the on the earth we come here we have to live this world after on the years only thing is with all the graduation with all the education we can understand the nature and make this society a beautiful place to you know live in even with your coexisting all the other animal species with the nature friends world after this big bang theory if you leave this gravitational force behind this limit you will get, you will get into, into celestial space, space where, there, where there is no gravitational influence and, and, and the total, total environment is different 
wherever you go across the globe is unique in the global context you have to be innovative you have to be inclusive because no boundaries you can transcend all the national boundaries across the globe if you are smart enough you can become a masters in your own field as our chief guest was telling many of our engine engineering graduates from india they are heading high posts across the globe i thank you all the teachers and i thank the management for being support you and providing all the resources for the college and i thank all the professors and heads of the hods and teachers and especially our dr ashok ashok sir he is very inspirational very very inspiring and supporting all the students and Just now, just now we are discussing about the Rajesh Shinde dresses. I asked one question to the vice principal. Why, sir, in all the occasions, in all the like, you know, graduations, respect of the specialty, either medical, dental, uh, engineering, they are wearing different colors. All these gowns. He answered simply, "This is the colonial legacy we are following, sir. There is no meaning in it. So let us give a meaning." for every your degree you acquire acquired and you respect your teachers respect your parents and life is a mystery to live and enjoy enjoy the life and don't disturb others and be a be a valuable citizen be a great human being and don't don't carry any problems from your workplace to the home you enjoy the life and spend a valuable time with family members Thank you, one and all. Wish you all the success in your future. Thank you very much, sir, for your inspiring words. Now we shall continue with the honoring of the UG and the PG outstanding talents. I hand over the session to Professor Shruti Ba. I request all the dignitaries on the dais to present the award of position holders. I request uh, Ahalya R, Department of Electronics and Telecommunication Engineering, Varsha Ganeshan, Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, K Yamuna, K Yamuna. from department of electronics and communication engineering mithun bv electronics and communication engineering kushal ac information science and engineering Danush Department of Information Science and Engineering AS Prakash Department of Computer Science and Engineering Manchupalli Shri Pragna Department of Computer Science and Engineering Sugam Chand Department of Computer Science and Engineering BV Industrial Engineering and Management Monisha S Department of Industrial Engineering and Management
Radyumna Department of Development of Rishushri SK Department of Civil Engineering Yashasvi R Department of Civil Engineering Abhishek Ji, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Harsha CM, Mechanical Engineering. Amrita CS, Department of MBA. Aishwarya D. Department of MBA Department of MCA, Ashit H.C. Hemant G. And R. Ash Ranjita. Electronics and Communication Engineering, Sonam, Manoj Kumar, Rakesh, Department of Computer Science and Engineering. Srinidhi, Department of Computer Science and Engineering. Yamini, Department of Computer Science and Engineering. Chita, Department of Civil Engineering, Anusha, Department of Civil Engineering.
Abai D, Department of Mechanical Engineering. Kavyashri SN, Department of Mechanical Engineering. dignitaries and thank you Professor Shrutiba. Herewith, I am distinctly privileged to invite Sri M. Puttaswamy, Chairman, Bangalore Institute of Technology, to deliver the presidential address. Elargo Namskara Yosada Yondo Padavi Pramana Patravana Vitarana Madlike Vedike Mele Asin Ragir Takanta Yella Gandere Agu Padavi Pramana Patravana Padakolike Agamisir Takanta Yella Vidyar Tigre Washakarun Dore Agu, the Takatala Madima Mitre Pengur Tantrikama Vidyalaya Kelevi Kelu Pratishita College Galali on the Promuka Vadanta College Agidu Prati Varsha Savaru Vidyar Tigalana Samaja K, Kodegi Agi Nirta Bandirta Kanta Dana, now only Velaru Mangandi Deve Yavala Vodu Rinda Padavi Pramana Patravana Tagutkunda Strindle, now Elavana Sadi Madi Divi and Tatirkota Kantadu Yuatina generationally as Tapagate. Now, what did a Jodhige Samskaravana Gruira Bagir Takanta Gorovno Sarudskun Bekanta Agate Tede? Now, even though Tantrika Vichara Gali, Echu and Vishenagana Martha Vodante, Bavanat Maka Vichara Gali in the Durak Tai Nivo Padavigana Padkondo, Videsagani, Udiagona, Udkon Kurle, Yellow Mugitona Takanta do Tapo Nivo Idesha the Lay, Udiogana, Udukudra Mukantra, Idesha the Abirti Gosa, New Kantra Putana Kurbekagate. Do the gay, do the gay, Yalsaki, Yadam Udiago Kesir Kun Kurle. Nima on the Jeevan and Irvana Munadite Adaki Echina Vidyartiglo. I want the Padavi Pramana Sikut Kurle Bada Kushia go Tarti Adre Kevala even the Wate Padi goes Karaway Padavigalana Padita Kanta Dalla Nevo. Unnatavadan Tavu to Gurigalana, Dota Tavu to Gurigalana, Hit Kondo, Amukantra Kelsona, Irvis Pekagate, Yagle, Nimgi, Dota Dota, Gendrana, Tavahiri, Tisio Garana, Aosakas too, Gendrana Kardu, 
ಅವರನ್ನ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಉದಾಹರಣೆಯಾಗಿ ಅಥವಾ ಮಾದರಿಯಾಗಿ ಇಟ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಅವರ ಒಂದು ಉಪದೇಶಗಳನ್ನ ಅಥವಾ ಉಪನ್ಯಾಸಗಳನ್ನ ಏರ್ಪಡಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಅವರಂತೆ ನೀವು ಸಹ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ನೀವು ಸಹ ದೊಡ್ಡ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಕಾರ್ಖಾನೆಗಳನ್ನ ಕಟ್ಟಬೇಕು ದೊಡ್ಡ ದೊಡ್ಡ ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯಗಳನ್ನ ಕಟ್ಟಬೇಕು ಹಾಗೆ ಸಾವಿರಾರು ಜನರಿಗೆ ಕೆಲಸವನ್ನ ಕೊಡುವುದರ ಮುಖಾಂತರ ನೀವು ಸಹ ಸಮಾಜಕ್ಕೆ ಒಂದು ದೊಡ್ಡ ಕೊಡುಗೆಯನ್ನ ಕೊಡಬೇಕು ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಸಂಶೋಧನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಹೆಚ್ಚಿನ ಆಸಕ್ತಿಯನ್ನು ಬೆಳೆಸ್ಕೊಳ್ಬೇಕು ನೀವು ಕೇವಲ ಆಟ ಆಡುವುದರಿಂದ ಜೀವನ ಪರಿಪೂರ್ಣ ಆಗುದಿಲ್ಲ ನಿಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲ ಆಟ ಆಡತಕ್ಕಂತ ಟೈಮು ಇನ್ನು ಮುಗಿದಿದೆ ಇದು ಕಾಂಪಿಟೇಟಿವ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಒಂದು ಮಾಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಗಳನ್ನ ತೆಗೆದುಕೊಂಡು ನೀವು ಈ ಸ್ಪರ್ಧಾತ್ಮಕ ಪ್ರಪಂಚದಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಹೋರಾಟವನ್ನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾಗತ್ತೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ತನಕ ನಿಮ್ಮ ತಂದೆ ತಾಯಿಗಳ ಆಶ್ರಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಆರಾಮವಾಗಿ ಬೆಳೆದಿದ್ದೀರಿ ಮುಂದೆ ಅದು ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಇಲ್ಲ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಕಾಲ್ ಮೇಲೆ ನೀವು ನಿಂತ್ಕೋಬೇಕಾಗತ್ತೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋರಾಟಗಳನ್ನ ಸ್ಪರ್ಧಾತ್ಮಕವಾದಂತ ಒಂದು ಹೋರಾಟಗಳನ್ನ ನಡೆಸಬೇಕಾಗತ್ತೆ ಆ ದಿಕ್ಕಿನಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ಕೆಲಸವನ್ನ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟೇಜ್ ಗಳನ್ನ ತೆಗೆದುಕೊಂಡು ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳು ವರ್ಷಕ್ಕೆ ಲಕ್ಷಾಂತರ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳು ಎಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ನ ಮುಗಿಸಿಕೊಂಡು ಹೊರ ಜಗತ್ತಿಗೆ ಬರ್ತಾರೆ ಅವರ ಜೊತೆನಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ಪೈಪೋಟಿಯನ್ನು ನಡೆಸಬೇಕಾಗತ್ತೆ ಆ ಮುಖಾಂತರ ಉದ್ಯೋಗಗಳನ್ನ ಗಿಟ್ಟಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದಾಗಿರ್ಲಿ ವ್ಯಾಪಾರಗಳನ್ನ ಮಾಡೋದಾಗಿರ್ಲಿ ಅಥವಾ ಯಾವುದೇ ಒಂದು ಕಾರ್ಖಾನೆಗಳಿಗನ್ನ ಕಟ್ಟತಕ್ಕಂಥದ್ದಾಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಕಾರ್ಖಾನೆಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ದೊಡ್ಡ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಹುದ್ದೆಗಳನ್ನ ನಿರ್ವಹಿಸತಕ್ಕಂತ ಒಂದು ಜವಾಬ್ದಾರಿ ಇನ್ನು ಮುಂದೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ನೀವು ಆ ದಿಕ್ಕಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಾಮಾಣಿಕವಾಗಿ ಕೆಲಸವನ್ನು ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಾ ಅಥವಾ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಮುಖಾಂತರ ನಿಮ್ಮ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಜ್ವಂತಕ್ಕೆ ಹಾಗೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ತಂದೆ ತಾಯಿಗಳಿಗೆ ತನ್ಮೂಲಕ ಸಮಾಜಕ್ಕೆ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಆಸ್ತಿಯಾಗಿ ನೀವು ಪರಿಗಣಿಸ್ತೀರಾ ಅಂತ ನಾವು ತಿಳ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ತಾಂತ್ರಿಕ ಮಹಾವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯ ಸಾವಿರಾರು ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಉದ್ಯೋಗ ಅವಕಾಶವನ್ನ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದೆ ಆ ಮುಖಾಂತರ ಸಾವಿರಾರು ಕುಟುಂಬಗಳು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಾಲೇಜಿನಿಂದ ಜೀವನ ನಿರ್ವಹಣೆಯನ್ನ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರತಕ್ಕಂಥದ್ದು ನೋಡಿದೀವಿ ಈಗಾಗಲೇ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಾಲೇಜಿನಿಂದ ಐ ಎ ಎಸ್ ಐ ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಕೇವಲ ಈ ಒಂದು ಅಡ್ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟಿವ್ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲ ಈ ಸಿನಿಮಾ ರಂಗದಲ್ಲಿ ಆಗಿರಬಹುದು ಹಾಗೆ ವಿವಿಧ ರಂಗಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಾಲೇಜಿನ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳು ಸಾಧನೆ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ನಿಜಕ್ಕೂ ನಾವು ಅವರೆಲ್ಲರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಮೆಚ್ಚುಗೆಯನ್ನು ವ್ಯಕ್ತಪಡಿಸ್ತೀವಿ ಇದೇ ರೀತಿ ಪ್ರತಿ ವರ್ಷ ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಹತ್ತು ಹದಿನೈದು ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳು ಮಾತ್ರ ಅಲ್ಲ ನೂರಾರು ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳು ಇಂಥ ಒಂದು ಸ್ಪರ್ಧಾತ್ಮಕ ಪರೀಕ್ಷೆಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ತೇರ್ಗಡೆ ಆಗುವುದರ ಮುಖಾಂತರ ಸಮಾಜಕ್ಕೆ ಮಾದರಿಯಾಗಿ ದೊಡ್ಡ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಉದ್ಯೋಗಗಳನ್ನ ಅಲಂಕರಿಸಿ ಸಮಾಜಕ್ಕೆ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಒಂದು ಕೊಡುಗೆಯನ್ನ ಕೊಡ್ತೀರಾ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಾಲೇಜು ಅತ್ಯಂತ ಪ್ರತಿಷ್ಠಿತವಾದಂತಹ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದು ಇದು ಕೆಲವೇ ಕಾಲೇಜುಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮದು ಒಂದು ಮಹತ್ವವನ್ನ ಪಡೆದಂತ ಅಥವಾ ಮಾನ್ಯತೆಯನ್ನ ಪಡೆದಂತ ಒಂದು ಉತ್ತಮ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಸಾವಿರಾರು ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ವಿದ್ಯಾಭ್ಯಾಸಕ್ಕೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ಗೆ ಹುಡಿಕೊಂಡು ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಕೇವಲ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಅಥವಾ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಮಾತ್ರ ಅಲ್ಲ ಭಾರತಾದ್ಯಂತ ಅಥವಾ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ದೇಶಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಇರತಕ್ಕಂತ ಅನಿವಾಸಿ ಜನ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಾಲೇಜಿಗೆ ವಿದ್ಯಾಭ್ಯಾಸಕ್ಕೋಸ್ಕರ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಇಂತ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರತಿಷ್ಠಿತ ಕಾಲೇಜಿನಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವೆಲ್ಲರೂ ಸೇರಿ ನೀವು ಒಳ್ಳೆಯ ಒಂದು ಉತ್ತಮ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣವನ್ನು ಪಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದೀರಿ
However, your journey has just begun. Work hard, chase your dreams, and all the very best for your future endeavors. With this, I call Dr. H. B. Balakrishna, Dean, Academics, Bangalore Institute of Technology, to propose the vote of thanks. Thank you, madam. Good afternoon, uh, everyone present here. C. N. Balakrishna, sir, for all the support extended to us. We are grateful to all the directors of Rajyavakligra Sangha for the continuous support to do the programs. We, have, we are grateful to our uh, chairman, Sri Putswami, sir, for all the support and encouragement extended to us. Thank you very much, sir. We are grateful to the to today's... Please put your hands and uh, show the appreciation. We are grateful to... Sri Sundar Madakshira, CEO, Resolve Limited, Bangalore, Karnataka, for the good words, words for future. And uh, he said vitamin D deficiency is there. Sir, we will practice to improve the, uh, you know, uh, vitamin D and we will be uh, good in future. Thank you very much for the address, sir. Thank you. We are uh, thankful to our beloved principal, Dr. M. Aswath. And, and Vice Principal, Principal Dr. J. Prakash, Prakash for this, all, all the support. Thank, thank you very much, sir. We are, we are thankful to all the deans, associate deans, HODs, PG coordinators for the support extended to us. Thanks, everyone. We thank my, our beloved students, without whom this function would have not been uh, done. We are thankful to toppers, rank holders, and all of you. Thank you very much for patient hearing. Ellaro Hasan Mukyagiri. ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳನ್ನು ಅರ್ಪಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಜೋರಾದ ಒಂದು ಚಪ್ಪಾಳೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ತಟ್ಟುಕೊಳ್ಳುವ ಮೂಲಕ ಹರ್ಷವನ್ನ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಪಡಿಸಬೇಕು ವಿ ಆರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಫುಲ್ ಟು ಡೀನ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಅಫೇರ್ ಶಂಕರ್ ಹೂ ಎಸ್ ಪುಟ್ ಲಾಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಫರ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಅರೇಂಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಶಂಕರ್ ಐ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಭಾರ್ಗವಿ ಟು ರೆಕಗ್ನೈಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಶಿ ಎಸ್ ಪುಟ್ ಲಾಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಫರ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಬ್ರಿಂಗಿಂಗ್ ಔಟ್ ದಿ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ಝಿನ್ ಬಿಟಾನಿಕಾ ಶಿ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಎಡಿಟರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಭಾರ್ಗವಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಟು Uh, Dr. K. Mahesh, MBA, who is coordinating this uh, graduate uh, ceremony. Thanks, Mahesh, wherever you are. We are very, very thankful to you. We are thankful to Professor Karthik B.S., who brought out the coffee table book, collected all the information. Thanks, Karthik. We are thankful to Professor Prasanna for making all the food arrangements. Nice food is arranged in the cellar. We request all of you to have it. We are uh, thankful to Mrs. B.V. Ramchandra for making the lunch. And we are thankful to Professor Sushil of Mechanical Department, who is the NCC coordinator for all the support extended to us. And uh, we are thankful to the present media, who gave us uh, a good uh, uh, you know, publicity. So once again, we are thankful to each and everyone who supported uh, for this program, directly or indirectly. Special thanks to the Department of Police for providing us the police band. Thank you very much. And, and at the end, end I, wish, I, I wish all our dear beloved students all the best. Have a wonderful, healthy life ahead. On behalf of Rajava Kaligra Sangha, Bangalore Institute of Technology, we wish you all the best. And this is my last graduation day. I have seen 30 plus graduation, graduating days in BIT. I am going to retire in the month of July. I extend uh, my... Uh, heartiest uh, thanks to Rajava Kaligra Sangha and all the office bearers. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Now I request all to rise for the national anthem.
ಮಾಡಿ 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 ಮಾಡಿ